In this video, we're going to install Libre Translate on Ubuntu using the Libre Translate init scripts. The first step is to SSH into the Ubuntu server we're going to be running Libre Translate on. In this case, translate.argosopentech.com. Then we're going to run the commands in the Libre Translate init um, repo on the README. Um, so this first group of commands is going to create a Libre Translate user, make a home directory for the user, give the user and the Libre Translate group ownership of the home directory, add the Libre Translate user to the sudo group, delete the password for the Libre Translate user so that it is only accessed through either the root user or SSH keys, um, and then become the Libre Translate user. So we can test that, that worked because who am I is returning Libre Translate. The next step is optional, which is to add swap space. Swap space allows you to use hard disk space as RAM, um, as overflow RAM. This is useful if you're worried about running out of RAM and or have extra disk space. Um, the next step is to download the Libre Translate init scripts. Um, and then run setup.sh in the init scripts. So looking at setup.sh, it's going to install updates, install Python packages we need, install some dependencies that Libre Translate needs, Nginx, which is the server we're going to be using for Libre Translate. It's going to download the Libre Translate source code, create a virtual environment, install GUnicorn in the virtual environment, and then install and run Libre Translate on port 5000. Um, this first run of Libre Translate is also going to download all of the Argos Translate models that we need. Now that that's finished, we can test that Libre Translate is running on port 5000. Now we can quit that process. What this is doing, this next script is going to set up systemd and nginx so that we run gunicorn to connect to the Libre Translate WSGI interface and then run nginx to proxy gunicorn
This is based on this tutorial of running a Flask application with GUnicorn and Nginx. Um, the next thing we're going to do is use the run script, which is going to do this, set up these configurations. So this is going to create a Libre Translate system D service. And then it's going to configure engine X to use that. So looking at the system D service, we can see that it's going to run G unicorn and bind G unicorn to the WSGI interface and then create a Unix socket for Nginx to connect to. Now looking at the Nginx config, we're going to be proxying this Libre Translate socket coming from G unicorn. And then if you look on line three, the server name if you're going to set up um, TLS, then you're going to need to add your server name here so that you can have HTTPS connections. So now running the script run.sh, after that's finished, we can check the status of the Libre Translate systemd service, which it's active in this case. And now we should be able to connect on port 80. And there we go. Libre Translate running on Ubuntu. This next step, we're going to use CertBot to get a Let's Encrypt certificate and enable HTTPS. Surbot is going to ask you for so, some information, like your email. You need to select the domain you want to activate HTTPS for. And now we should be able to connect using HTTPS. There we go.